This is the story of Gobble the Goblin by Antoinette Nestor. Once there was a goblin who lived on a planet called Planet Earth. His name was Gobble. Gobble the Goblin. He made his home in a magnificent forest. Now shut your eyes. Can you imagine that forest? What trees has it got in it? Pine trees? Willow? Oak trees? And what about the birds? Robins? Kingfishers? Geese, maybe? Can you imagine the flowers, big and small? What colours are they all? In this forest, every day, every night, all Gobble the Goblin did was eat. He would nibble, he would pick, he would gobble, nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble. He could eat an entire tree before you can say cheese. He'd even eat the soil and the rocks. Nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble. I need to eat more stones, he said. One day he gobbled a big rock. Nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble. It left a massive hole. Because he was so busy eating, he tripped in the hole and hit his nose. Now I expect you're wondering what happened to everything he ate. That's right, poo. It all turned into poo. But because he was a magic goblin, everything he ate came out of his bottom, transformed into something else. He ate a pretty lily and pooed out a fork. He nibbled a plastic bottle and pooed out some cosy winter clothes. Whatever he wanted, a plate, a hose, a toy or a ball, he ate. Rivers and bogs, trees or stones, nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble, until his tummy said, is that all? And out of his bottom came just what he needed most. But one day he looked round for something to eat. He found his forest was gone. All there was left was poo everywhere. Oh, if I don't do something about this poo, he thought, I'll starve to death. But how could he get his forest back? He could hardly breathe. The poo had made the air so hot and dirty it made him sneeze. He searched up and down, above and below. He talked to the caterpillars, the centipedes, the wriggly worms. They gave him some seeds to grow. He invited the bees, the birds and the breeze to spread out the seeds. It was indeed a wonderful deed. The seeds grew into saplings. They grew and grew. His forest got green and all the flowers whispered, isn't he a wonderful beast? He developed tasty dishes. Fruits shaped like potatoes. Vegetables shaped like pears. He soon discovered he was a master chef. He even opened a cafe. He called it the Circular Economy Cafe. And then he began to think about all that waste. Hmm, what could I do with this broken plastic fork? I know, I could make it into a winter coat. No more nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble. Instead, he started to cartwheel day and night to remind himself to reinvent the wheel, to reuse, recycle, remake, until his planet Earth was magnificent, brilliant and clean once again. And now, if he needs a plate, a hose, a toy or a ball, he uses his goblin magic to turn the waste into useful things for all. And he said to his tummy, mm, no more nibble, nibble, pick, pick, gobble, gobble. For bottoms are also 
for sitting and not just for pooing all day long. And that's the end of the story of Gobble the Goblin.